What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be going over how to manually install a mod pack onto your Apex server. Before we get into the tutorial, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified of every new tutorial we upload, just like this one. One of the best ways to play Minecraft with your friends is with the use of mod packs. Mod packs are a collection of Minecraft mods that create an overall theme. Playing on these mod packs can completely change what you know Minecraft to be as they modify Minecraft well past its normal gameplay. While playing with mod packs is great, knowing how to install these packs on your server can be quite difficult. If you host with Apex, we have many, many mod packs that you can add with just one click. With thousands of available mod packs out there, we unfortunately do not have a way to add every one of these to our installer. If you want a mod pack on your server that we don't have, you can still install it manually. Installing a mod pack manually can definitely be confusing if you haven't done it before, and that's why we're going to be going over each step on how you can manually install a mod pack. Please note that this guide assumes you're going to be working with a mod pack that has a prepared server version for you. Not all mod packs provide one, but if this is the case, you're going to need to convert the client version into a server version. Below the video, we're going to be linking our guide on how you can do this. This guide will also be needed if you've manually created a mod pack that you want to upload to the server. And if you want a custom mod pack created but don't know how to do so, make sure to check out our mod pack creation add on, also linked below the video. Knowing which mod pack you would like to download is the first step in finding the perfect pack for your server. Mod packs can come from a variety of sites such as CurseForge, Technic, FTB, or ATL. When you find a mod pack you would like to download, you're going to need to check it for a server download. If the mod pack doesn't have one, you're going to need to convert it. For CurseForge, you're going to want to head to the official CurseForge website and select the page of a mod pack you want. Once you get to their page, check to the right under the Recent Files tab. You're going to be looking for a section saying Minecraft Server Packs. Once you find the tab with these server packs, click Download on the latest file icon. And once you've downloaded it, Make sure to move the file into a directory where you can find it later. For Technic, make sure you head to the official Technic website and then click on Browse Mod Packs. Once there, go ahead and find the mod pack you would like to download. Once you're on the web page of that mod pack, go to the right and you're going to see a server download button. Go ahead and click that. Once the file is downloaded, just like before, you're going to need to move the zip to a directory for later use. And for the ATL launcher, you're going to need to head to their website and install their launcher. Once it's installed, you're going to need to log into your Minecraft account and make sure it's selected. And then on the right, you're going to need to click on the Packs tab. From here, you're going to want to find the mod pack you want and then click on Create Server. Once it's created, you're going to need to head to the Servers tab on the right and then click open folder on the mod pack. This is the directory where the server files are saved. Take note as you're going to need to come back to it later. A quick note for when we're prepping the mod pack is not all mod pack downloads are going to be the exact same. Some of them may have different file names but the steps should be pretty similar to the ones we're about to go over. For our first step, head to the directory where you've installed the mod pack. If it's in a zip, go ahead and right click it and extract it into its own folder. In this folder, you should see a few key files and folders, namely mods, libraries, config, and the forge.jar, and then the minecraft server.jar. First thing you're going to want to do is make a new folder and then name it jar. And then next, you're going to want to locate the forge.jar. It's going to be named something a little similar to this, depending on what version it is. And then right click this file and you're going to want to rename it custom.jar. Make sure that you don't accidentally name it custom.jar.jar. If you don't have extensions showing in the rename, just rename it to custom. And then you're going to want to drag the custom jar, the Minecraft server jar, and the libraries folder into the jar folder that you just made. 
And then for uploading the pack, you need to head to the Apex panel and then stop your server. And once your server stopped, go ahead and locate the jar selection part of the page and select custom server jar. Once you've changed your server version, go ahead and locate reset server files to the left of the panel and then go ahead and click that and then follow the steps to reset your server. Keep in mind that this will delete all files you have, although that shouldn't matter since we are uploading a new mod pack. And then once your server is reset, you're going to want to go to the left into the FTP panel. From here, you're going to want to copy your information, your username and your password and the IP, and then you're going to want to paste it into FileZilla or another FTP program such as Cyberduck. If you want more information on how to connect to your server FTP using an FTP program such as FileZilla or Cyberduck, you can find our tutorial on how to do so linked below the video. Once connected, open the directory on your PC that has the mod pack and drag the jar, mods, and config folders into your server FTP. Make sure that when you're doing this, the server FTP is empty. Once the files are completely uploaded to the server, head back to the Apex panel and start the server up. Make sure to check the server console to confirm that everything has started successfully. One common issue that may occur during this process is console saying that it is unable to access the jar file or the custom jar. This error is generally due to the jar file not being placed into the jar folder, the forged jar not being named to custom jar, or the file being corrupted while uploading. To resolve this, go into the FTP file access tab in your server panel and double check that the file is there and named correctly. If you have confirmed that both of these are correct, you're going to need to re-upload these files. The next error that may occur is console saying missing libraries or related. If you're getting this error, it means the libraries folder was not uploaded all the way to the jar folder. Confirm that the folder is inside of the jar folder and if it isn't, re-upload it through FileZilla or another FTP program. Once added, restart your server and try again. And then the last error is Forge and Minecraft server jar not present in the server pack. While all server packs should have these jars, it is possible that they might be missing. If this is the case, you're going to need to manually install Forge to your server. You can find our guide on doing so linked below the video. Make sure if you're doing this, you're confirming that the version is for the same mod pack. Well folks, that's all I've got for you today. I want to thank you for watching this tutorial and I want to thank you for using an Apex server. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials just like this one. And as always, I hope you have lots of fun.